now we would be looking at who is afraid of virginia wolf and find if these elements are there in who is afraid of virginia wolf now first of all we will come to the most important distinction that is modernism and postmodernism first we will look that is uh, edward albee's play who is afraid of virginia wolf a postmodern play in general so it is a postmodern play in general because it fits many of the aspects of postmodernism uh, are it does not fit into many as features of modernism for example it's an absurd drama it's an absurd drama so it's not feature of modern writing or modern plays secondly post this uh, edward albee's who is afraid of virginia wolf is not you know dedicated to enlightenment it's not dedicated to uh, moral or didactic purpose so it does not fit the feature of a modern play its language is abuse you now if you go through this play that is who is afraid of virginia wolf you will find that uh, martha who is a character in this play and george who is another character in this play they would use abuse you language for each other uh, so that is another aspect of postmodern play and not an aspect of modern play when we go to the modern plays modern plays would use a very sophisticated language they would not use you know abuse you language but in uh, edward albee's who is afraid of virginia wolf we have those slang kind of a language which he has used edward albee's play who is afraid of virginia wolf lacks a proper structure now modern plays would have a proper structure it would begin with a conflict and there would be a proper ending of the play but when we come to this play who is afraid of virginia wolf we have no such thing as a conflict and a, a, resolu a, a resolving of that conflict so what we find that this play who is afraid of uh, virginia wolf fits the features of postmodernism rather than modernism so at the very onset we could say that just by looking at the features of this play it's a postmodern play and in the next section we will deal with the contents of this play now that these were some features of this play which match with the postmodern so it is a postmodern play now we will look at the content does this play have the content of postmodernism or postmodern era now first and foremost we will look at the themes of this uh, play that what are the themes of this particular play absurdity now as i said earlier that absurdity is an important aspect of postmodern life postmodern theory postmodern literature postmodern writing absurdity is an important component of postmodernism and in this play we have this absurdity as a theme also when we go through this play what we find is that it's a play which uh, deals with family and marriage now marriage and family both were considered as meaningful ideas and concepts in modern era you know marriage as an institution was respected people would make efforts you know to keep their life or married life you know even if it is not happy they would pretend it to be happy and they would you know jab wo bahar kisi ke samne aate you know uh, husband and wife you know they would pretend and they are living a very happy life they are very loyal to each other uh, ये सारी चीजें वो दिखाते थे एटलीस्ट और जिससे जो है एक मीनिंग बनता था इस मैरिज का लेकिन ये जो प्ले हम पढ़ते हैं तो इसमें मार्था एंड जॉर्ज दे कंसिस्टेंटली स्ट्राइव टू मॉक देअर रिलेशनशिप एंड टू मॉक दिस मैरिज एज एन इंस्टीट्यूशन एंड दे आई नो मेक इट sound as if this marriage as an institution is an absurd kind of an idea is a meaningless kind of an idea where you have brought two people together and they are forced to live together so they neither respect each other nor uh, you know they respect their relationship nor do they think that it's worth something that we must work for so what it does it works for absurdity or what it does those things jo modern era mein जो है मीनिंगफुल होते थे उनको यहाँ पे वो मीनिंगलेस बताता है उनको यहाँ पे एब्सर्ड बताता है कि जो मैरिज एज एन इंस्टीट्यूशन था ये एक एब्सर्ड आइडिया है किस लिए हम जो है शादी करें और फिर शादी में जो है एटलीस्ट प्रिटेंड करें कि हम अच्छे हैं या हम खुश हैं या हम खुश रहें या वो रिस्ट्रिक्शन जो मॉडर्न इरा एक मैरिड लाइफ के बाद दो बंदों पर लगाता है वो सारी चीज़ों को मॉक करता है ये प्ले सो दैट इज़ वन ऑफ द आस्पेक्ट और वन ऑफ द थीम्स ऑफ दिस प्ले हु इज आफ्रेड ऑफ विरजीनियम वुल्फ another theme that we find in this place fall of family as an institution postmodernism mein family as an institution ka disappearance ek important aspect hai aur writings mein bhi aur edward albee ka play bhi is is theme ko deal karta hai for example martha 
और जॉर्ज इनकी कोई औलाद नहीं है दे आर गॉट नो चिल्ड्रन सो दे क्रिएट अ फिक्शनल चिल्ड्रन नाउ क्रिएटिंग अ फिक्शनल चिल्ड्रन इज एक्चुअली मॉकिंग द द फैमिली लाइफ यू नो दे आर नॉट लाइक यू नो अपसेट विद दिस आइडिया कि उनका कोई बेटा नहीं है और वो जो बेटा क्रिएट करते हैं वो भी यू नो टू रिब्यूक वन एन अदर टू शो टू द पीपल दैट यू नो उनका कोई कोई सिस्टम ही नहीं है कोई फैमिली नहीं है एंड आल्सो फर्दर एज वी कंटिन्यू रीडिंग दिस पर्टिकुलर प्ले बोथ मार्था एंड जॉर्ज दे मेक एवरी एफर्ट टू ब्रेक देयर रिलेशनशिप यू नो टू मेक साउंड दैट उनका जो रिलेशनशिप है वो नहायत ही बुरा है दे मॉक एट ईच अदर दे एब्यूज ईच अदर यू नो एक दूसरे को वो उन दो गेस्ट यानी निक और हनी के सामने नंगा करने की कोशिश करते हैं एंड वी आर ऑल्सो टोल्ड एट दफ द एंड एंड ऑफ द प्ले दैट द फैमिली लाइफ ऑफ जॉर्ज एंड मार्था इज कंप्लीटली डिस्ट्रॉयड बिकॉज ऑफ दियर एफर्ट्स एंड एज निक एंड हॉनी लिव एट द एंड ऑफ द प्ले वी आर टोल्ड कि नाव दे वुड स्टार्ट रीबिल्डिंग देअर फैमिली सो वॉट वॉज देयर इट वॉज टोटली डिस्ट्रॉयड जो फैमिली थी उनकी जो उनका सेटअप था दैट वॉज कम्प्लीटली डिस्ट्रॉयड दैट हैज कम्प्लीटली फॉलन ए पार्ट एंड दिस इज समथिंग दैट हैड हैपन इन पोस्ट मॉडर्न इरा इन ऑलमोस्ट थ्रू ऑलमोस्ट थ्रू आउट द वर्ल्ड एंड दिस फॉल ऑफ फैमिली एज एन इंस्टीट्यूशन बिकेम एन इम्पॉर्टेंट थीम ऑफ द राइटिंग्स एंड एडवर्ड आलबीज आलबीज प्ले हु इज आफ्टर द फिर जीनियर वुल्फ आल्सो डील्स विद इट सो वी फाइंड दैट एडवर्ड आलबीज प्ले हु इज आफ्टर द फिर जीनियर वुल्फ फिट्स टू द सेकेंड फीचर ऑफ पोस्ट मॉडर्निज्म आल्सो वेन इट कम्स द थीम्स ऑफ पोस्ट मॉडर्न राइटिंग साइंस फिक्शन is important theme of post modern writing there are many plays who deal exclusively with science fiction or there is a genre now what we call science fiction when it comes to this play who is afraid of virginia wolf uh, science this is not a science fiction play but there is a commentary on science fiction in this particular novel so it you know hints at science fiction how in post modern era science fiction would be taking up uh, the regular or conventional writing when you know george and uh, nick are in conversation since nick is a biologist and uh, george is a history teacher he says that now historical facts would never find place in literature there would be science fiction this is what you have been propounding future belongs to science fiction future belongs to gen- genetic discoveries future belongs to science and that is one of the aspect of this play who is afraid of virginia wool loss of moral values now loss of moral values is another theme dominant in post modern writing now if when we read this play who is afraid of virginia wool we find the loss of moral values as a theme in this play also for example the way georgia and martha abuse each other is you know we find them morally corrupt and martha is the wife of george and we find martha you know seducing nick she not only seduces nick but all even in front of george she would be kissing nick i know there would be uh, i know doing sexual kind of acts in front of george so that is how we find that the society uh, as a whole presented to us in who is afraid of virginia wolf is morally corrupt and the other theme is breakdown or falling apart of sexual taboos in modern era uh, you know sexuality was considered as uh, to be a very uh, conservative a uh, personal kind of a concept but no such thing is there in edward albee's who is afraid of virginia wolf we find how george, george and martha uh, you know they would be kissing in front of nick and honey and then uh, uh, martha would be uh, flirting with nick and then nick and uh, martha who is actually the wife of george uh, you know would indulge in a kiss with nick and then she also indulges in the sexual activities with nick so george has got absolutely no problem with all such kind of a stuff and and the and and also the conversation in this play are such uh, that all the these four characters they do not shy off from talking about such things or indulging in such things in front of them so that is another important theme which we find in uh, edward albee's who is afraid of virginia wolf and uh, that also reflects that uh, which means that this play edward albee's who is afraid of virginia wolf has got most of the themes which are prevalent in the post modern writing so this play edward albee's who is afraid of virginia wolf would be considered a post modern text it has also got intertextuality in it intertextuality is an important aspect of post modern writing and when we look uh, at a work from post modern lens we try to find intertextuality in it now this play has got intertextuality in it for example there is a reference to uh, a movie to a picture uh, by 
Warner Brothers. You know, uh, Martha would refer to that. She says a dialogue, what a dump. Now this what a dump would be a dialogue of Betty Davis from some picture by Warner Brothers. And she would consistently ask George to, George to name that particular picture which he doesn't remember. So that is an intertextual reference or that is a reference to another character, to a dialogue of another character or to, to a movie from within this text. There is another important reference in this particular play and that is a reference to Dylan Thomas when uh, George would be you know praising Martha for something and in a very poetic manner so Martha replies to him that this is why I am impressed with you because you have got poetic qualities like those of Dylan Thomas now Dylan Thomas is an important poet so this is how the intertextuality works in the postmodern plays or in the postmodern novels writings poetry where either the characters or the writer alludes to other texts to other characters to other genres to other dialogues in their text so even intertextuality exists in this play who is afraid of virginia wolf so that is another postmodern element of this play so we say that it's a postmodern text or a postmodern novel now disappearance of real now when we come to this play who is afraid of virginia wolf we would look for the disappearance of real now the disappearance of real uh, is not you know in a very general sense that we find in this particular play but there is disappearance of real for example both Jar George and Martha they strive throughout the play to hide their real faces or real meaning or their real relationship तो वो एक दूसरे को बुरा भला कहते हैं ना उनका जो बुरा भला कहना है अब्यूज यू लैंग्वेज यूज करना है या एक दूसरे को गाली देना है एक दूसरे को नीचे दिखाना है हमेशा लड़ते रहना है यू नो इन दैट वे बाय डूइंग सो व्हाट दे आर डूइंग वो जो उनका रियल फ्रस्ट्रेशन है या जो रियल इश्यूज है वो उनको छुपाना चाहते हैं जो रियल फीलिंग्स है वो उनको छुपाना चाहते हैं नाउ बाय डूइंग सो दे आर हाइडिंग मेनी रियल प्रॉब्लम्स और इश्यूज दैट दे हैव फॉर एग्जांपल द रियल इशू वुड बी यू नो सेटलिंग देयर married life are making their marriage a very respectable kind of things there would be some real issues or real problems or reality to which they must look at but they do not Insta instead of looking at them what they would do they would consistently you know do things which are not so very important for them और उसको वो डिसअपीयर जो रियल जो रियलिटी है वो उसको थोड़ा पर्दे के पीछे रखने की कोशिश करते हैं और फिर उसको कंसिस्टेंटली इग्नोर करने का जो आउटकम होता है दैट इज दैट देयर होल फैमिली लाइफ इज डिस्ट्रॉयड दीस वर सम ऑफ द पोस्ट मॉडर्न एलिमेंट्स दैट वी फाउंड इन दिस पर्टिकुलर प्ले नाउ बेस्ड ऑन दीस एलिमेंट्स वी वुड से दैट हु इज अफ्रेड ऑफ वर्जिनिया वुल्फ इज अ पोस्ट मॉडर्न प्ले इज अ पोस्ट मॉडर्न ड्रामा now whenever we apply postmodernism on any text we would look for all these aspects and if we find ki ek play mein ek uh, ek novel mein ek poem mein ye sare elements hain to we would say that this is a postmodern text that was the lecture about application of postmodernism on edward albee's who is afraid of virginia wolf i hope that this lecture was helpful for you and you and you were able to understand uh the play from postmodern lens thank you for watching and don't forget to share like subscribe and comment on your academy for more interesting stuff keep watching your academy